hearing loss is a whole spectrum. About 80% of children that have a hearing loss, they're, they use spoken language to communicate. They are in regular education classrooms. I think the way that it was presented to me at the time was just that there wasn't a lot of information about kids like Molly who had a mild to moderate hearing loss. And so just knowing that more information was needed and it wasn't that big of a deal for us to participate and contribute to that. They came here for Owen, so they would test Hunter and then they would test Owen separate. And they're able to do everything that their audiologist does in the building in the soundproof room and like all of that. They do all of that testing in their van for the boys. It helps a lot and it, they, they can track if your hearing levels are getting better, getting worse. And it's, you need your hearing needs to be turned up, turned down or stay where they are. The previous research that's been done has looked at preschool age kids and early elementary age children. But this current study is looking at children in junior high and high school. The major implications of this study are what are the factors that lead to success for some of these children in the classroom? The University of Iowa has been this program. All the research studies have been amazing because it just gives us more information that we came into this fresh. Actually, when Ruby came along and didn't pass her newborn hearing screening, uh, we, we weren't really phased at all. We decided this was going to be okay. If we needed to do this with another child, it would be okay.